Hi guys, last year I travelled across Asia on an epic adventure to discover some of the most incredible and inspiring Asian baking recipes. Now, over the course of the next few weeks, I'm going to give you a little bit of a taste of the six different Asian countries I visited and all those great recipes. Malacca was all about new experiences, new tastes like durian and pandan, and experiences that I will never forget, all thanks to my very eclectic tour guide, Mr. Chef Juan. Ah, this is Baba Charlie. Baba Charlie. Okay, nice. good cakes here? Yes. I've been told that Baba Charlie's shop is the best place to come for handmade local kuei. And here we are at Baba Charlie, hello! Wow, it smells wonderful. Sapo lagi lawa. Who's more handsome? Who's more handsome? <laughs> what are you trying to start? Okay, anyway, Baba Charlie has existed for almost 30 years. Huh? Mm -hmm. So what they did, uh, what they're doing here is actually they're producing all this wonderful Pranakan dessert. As you can see, all this nyonya, nyonya, nyonya. For example, she's been doing this for how many years, Andy? For 30 years. 30 years. 30 so you're years. an expert yeah. at this. Oh my, look at the look at the way she rolls it. She like. moves with speed yes, and yes, action. Yes, yes, yes. Look, look, she shake. Yes. yes. Oh, you gotta get yes. the hips uh, in. You gotta exactly. get the hips in. It's like that, you know? Okay. But you have to understand, uh, living in, in, in uh, Malaysia here, when your country have all those wonderful dairy, you have your chicken, yogurt. milk and all that, or mm. yogurt and all that, for your pastry, for all your lovely cakes, we don't have that because we are living in the tropic. Okay. So when you come out from the house, yeah. the first thing you saw see is all this coconut curry everywhere. Right. But don't that nyonya. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Ah, she said, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me about these desserts, because there's a whole host of things over here. Yes. Baba Charlie take pride in his home, what called home desserts and okay. cakes. And they are the best. This is made of coconut milk, mm -hmm. banana. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. With palm sugar. Tell me what it is. This is made of the pom beras, mm -hmm. rice flour. Yeah. We, they okay. have the flour bunga telang. And then palm sugar at the inside with coconut milk as well. Oh my Feel goodness. It. Right. It's, it's almost like jello. Oh, lovely, lovely. Lovely. Uh, <laughs> see, see? Did you... mm. Nice. That's lovely. Lovely, isn't it? That's amazing. Mm. Really, really sweet. It looks terrible. It looks terrible, but it tastes, looks, yeah, tastes it, delicious. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a dead fish there for one week <laughs> rotting away. But I'm telling you, it is heaven. Yeah. yeah? Chef Juan, what's yeah. next? This is a famous kue uh, anku. Look at the color of these. This uh, kue anku is served also as an offering. Okay. You know when people die, uh, special you know religious ceremony and all that. This green color, as you see, we use a lot of pandan inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have the red one. This like very prosperity. We call it rose color. Here we have like sesame. There are over 100 different types of nyonya kue, all made without flour, eggs, or butter. And lastly, I mean, I can go on and on and on. Yep. And this is pulut inti, kan? Ah, this again, piece de la resistance. Yes, de la resistance. Look at that. It's almost like a volcano eruption. Uh, you put the whole thing. The whole thing? Yeah, yeah. I and can't do the whole thing. Can. I can't. Beautiful. So that's why when you look at the Western dessert, mm -hmm. all the many kinds of cakes, you know, and madeleine and mm -hmm. pies and tarts and sweet. We in Asia also have many varieties. I can yeah? see that. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you very much. That is quite the array of cakes. I know, I know. That is not what I expected. I mean, the brilliant thing about here is that you're using local ingredients, very different from our baking. Correct. And at the end of the day, all those wonderful sweet brings we human beings together yes. so that we can eat and stay happy. And that's why we're and here today. Happy. Come on, right, let's go make some cakes. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy that. I've been having a great time. Well, the lovely Chef Juan certainly made my Malacca experience memorable and it gave me the inspiration to come up with a recipe for the beautiful pandan cake. It's light, it's airy and it has that gorgeous green colour. Here's how to make it. I do feel a little bit of pressure taking on Malacca's national cake, but I'm going to give you my best attempt at making a wonderful pandan cake. This is a chiffon sponge. So first, I'm making a meringue with cream of tartar, egg whites and sugar, whisked into stiff peaks. I now have these egg yolks, which need to be whisked up with the remaining sugar. And I'm just going to whisk them until they're really light and fluffy. All 
this whisking is going to pay off because all the air that you've added in here is going to make the difference to the lightness and the airiness of this cake. So to this mix, I'm adding some oil, a little bit of coconut milk, some vanilla extract, and then the interesting and most important ingredient is some of this pandan extract. About a teaspoon should do us. And what you're looking for is that lovely fragrant green color. So this gets whisked up. You can see that color just erupt into those eggs. This mix is now ready for the flour. So I'm just gonna sift it in. All right, let's give this a mix through. So now this is the interesting part. It's time to fold through this meringue mixture. So it's just a case of loosening it out with a spoonful like this, and you don't have to be too careful about adding this in, but you're just gonna roughly stir this through. And then with the remaining egg mixture, it's a case of folding it as gently as possible, keeping as much air in there as possible. And now this is ready to go. So the last thing to do is to transfer it into a bunt tin. So I've sprayed this really, really well with some cooking spray. But the smell is just so fragrant. That pandan just sings through here. And this is now ready for the oven. It's going in at 175 degrees Celsius, and it's gonna bake for about 35 minutes. And the brilliant thing about this cake is that it puffs up and it goes almost souffle-like when it comes out. The best topping for this cake is a tangy mix of icing sugar, lime juice, and a little water. Once the cake has cooled, pour the icing over just until it drizzles down the sides. The last little touch is some lime zest over the top, just to finish it. I'm gonna have to slice this up because it just is all about that interior, that pandan sponge. And look at that. This is what it's all about. That super, almost neon green color. Mm. It's that fragrance of pandan that runs through this, which is truly an Asian flavor. Mmm, delicious. A real celebration of my Asian trip. There you go, a delicious recipe inspired by my epic Asian baking adventure. Now, if you like that, make sure you comment beneath letting me know if you're gonna try it. Hit that subscribe button, give me a like, and share this video. If you wanna see more of my Asian baking adventure, make sure to tune in to Good Food Channel for all 10 episodes. They're quite good. See you soon, goodbye.